Hello once again, everybody. I'm Jake Lucci, and welcome to my video coaching newsletter. The title of today's video coaching newsletter is Rekindling Your College Recruiting Process. I figured it would be appropriate to talk about how to rekindle your college recruiting process, considering that the fire is over there in the corner. And we are doing some new things in 2024, uh, some exciting things at LPG, but also, um, you know, just, just renewing the way uh, that we talk about the college recruiting process and, and reminding ourselves what the foundational aspects are of it. And one of those foundational aspects is always being able to rekindle your college recruiting process at times. And so uh, even um, when you're out in the middle of nowhere and you need a fire, uh, that rekindling process does take a little bit of time. And it's the same when it comes to searching for scholarships and working through the college recruiting process uh, with people that know how to help you earn scholarships. And, and, a, and it does take a lot of kindling. It does take a lot of kindling to get that fire going. But once that fire is going, then what you realize is that you have a scholarship on the other end. And, and that is what we uh, always try to tell our parents and prospects throughout the process, even when it does get a little bit uh, scary, let's just say, for parents and prospects that haven't signed scholarships. It's always about kindling, rekindling, and keeping that fire going. Um, we always talk about participation with prospects and communication. And so part of that uh, throughout the process is keeping those flames going. It, it, it can't, as, as an athlete, as a high school athlete, or as a parent, you have to understand that part of the responsibility falls on your shoulders. In fact, a lot of the responsibility falls on your shoulders if you're not working with a college recruiting advisor or a team of people that know what they're doing and how to best get your name out there in front of coaches. Everyone has their opinion, but what matters most is the prospect's opinion and the parent's opinion. And if you can get around people that will tell you the truth. And, and one of those truths is rekindling that process when things aren't going well, when you're not being contacted by college coaches, that is a very important part of, of, of this whole process. It's a very important part uh, from beginning to end because in the winter time, I mean, it's, it's, it's cold uh, during the winter and people um, uh, obviously are, are trying to navigate the, the snows and, uh, and, and everything that's going on in their own lives. What you want to do is you want to make sure that when a college coach is looking up prospects, whether it be on his or her phone or on the computer, you want to make sure that you've been kindling that your own college recruiting process. So when they are looking prospects up, that when they find you, they know what they're looking at and it gives you, gives uh, you a better chance to be recruited by them. But if you've left the fire and let it die, when that college coach goes to look for you, you are nowhere to be found. And so what we found is it's best to continue the kindling and rekindling process throughout, even though it may seem tedious, it's really important. And, and I think it just gets back to being a prospect of action, being a family of action. And if your high school coaches or your club coaches are not taking action to help you in your college recruiting process, you oftentimes have to take that responsibility on yourself. And, and that's why at LPG, it's so important for us to make sure uh, that we're doing everything we can to provide our, our parents and prospects with the tools to kindle their fires, to kindle their college recruiting fires. Because when it goes out and when you're not hearing from college coaches or you feel like you're doing the process alone, that's when it gets really cold. And so you'd rather be warm during the, during the college recruiting process and feel like you're making progress rather than trying to do everything yourself and trying to um, roll the dice on your college recruiting process. And if your fire goes out or if you don't know how to rekindle your fire by um, posting on social media, by talking with college recruiting advisors and making sure that people are reaching out to college coaches um, you know, to let them know who you are. I mean, the college coaches are uh, some of the most, I mean, they're some of the most successful people. Uh, in, and, and I think their jobs are very difficult and I, I enjoy working with them, but I also respect their schedules and they, I understand how seriously they take their college recruiting and high school parents and prospects should respect that as well. And so that's why we have the connections with college coaches, but also 
uh, we can help prospects and college coaches uh, find mutual, uh, you know, good fits for each other because a little marketing and some credibility goes a long way when it comes to most college coaches. And they appreciate uh, learning about prospects that they otherwise might, might not have known about before. This has been a college recruiting video coaching newsletter, rekindling your college recruiting process. I'm Jake Lucci. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon.